Hey guys, welcome to my channel Electronic Geek. So today we will be performing our simulation on Tinkercad of full subtractor. So to start with, uh, we shall be starting with the notes that I have prepared. So full subtractor is a combination circuit which performs subtraction of 3 bit. Yeah, so combination circuit is a circuit wherein your output depends on the given current inputs. Uh, it does not depend on any previous state like memory or nothing. So it output will only depend on the given inputs and in case of subtractor be it half or be it full uh, the all output is shown in terms of difference and borrow so in this case we are having three inputs a b and c c is the lsp a is the msb so when we are performing subtraction of these three bits the thing goes as 0 minus 0 minus 0 will give you the answer as like difference as 0 and nothing has been borrowed so borrow is also 0 for second case a0 b0 and c1 so in this case a minus uh, 0 minus 0 will be again 0 and for 0 minus 1 now the weight of this middle position like b is 2 raised to 1 that is 2 now when this will be taking a borrow it will be subtraction will be 2 minus 1 that is 1 and therefore the difference shall be also 1 and borrow shall be also 1 for this case it is the same as second one just the bits are have been shuffled for this case 0 1 and 1 so for 0 and 1 the uh, difference shall be 1 and borrow shall be 1 and now when we are again subtracting 1 uh, difference shall be 0 but borrow shall be 1 so that's it and in, in, in order to write the equations for designing our circuit what we do is um, we uh, write it with the help of a K map. Uh, since there are uh, three inputs, therefore eight particular combinations. Therefore, there will be eight outputs. So we will be making an eight cell K map. And for uh, this is the K map for case of borrow. So what we do is we write min terms here in these boxes. So according to this uh, table, what uh, we have written the ones where uh, all the min terms are there. So in order to write the equation, we first see that which variable is uh, which bit is constant so for this blue colored box what we see is a is uh, same for both these values what is changing here is b b is changing from 0 to 1 so we will be neglecting b and we will be taking c so this can be written as a bar c a complement c as a is 0 we are taking its complement for the red one the red colored pair uh, a is again same and this time b is same but c is changing so what we will be doing is a bar b and for this black colored pair uh, a is changing but b and c are same that's why we take this as bc now coming to this difference now uh, whenever there are odd number of inputs are high diff and in this pattern is followed throughout this particular difference table then difference can be expressed in terms of ax or bx or c in this case there are three inputs and um, this is the case that at odd when there are odd number of inputs are high then difference is one be it four or five or n number of inputs whenever this pattern is followed answer is always ax or bx or cx or the number of variables ahead so this can be easily written by inspection that difference can be expressed as ax or bx or c now going to proteus where i have designed this circuit so this is our circuit on proteus 8.9 so these three are the toggle switches that we will be using as inputs so when we simulate this circuit now it's 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, c difference is high borrow is high 0 1 1 difference is 0 borrow is 1 1 0 1 c difference is also 0 borrow is also 0 1 1 1 difference high and borrow also high like this all the other pat or combinations can be also proved so moving to Tinkercad for our simulation on breadboard we shall be performing it using ICs. We will be doing it on Tinkercad now and to start with we will first take breadboard. This is our breadboard here. Now we will be taking the supply. Standard 5 volt supply. Here it is and 
with the help of supply we will be giving it to these channels of breadboard and this particular thing can be extended like this so that even the lower portion of breadboard receives the 5 volt so the red wire and the black wire so let's change this color as this is the main power line let's keep it in red and this in black and here red black now as we know that there will be a three inputs what we can use is a switch so we will be using this four way switch let's keep it a bit on this side and now we will be using a ic 7486 This is the XOR gate. We always place the IC like this between this uh, empty space as the two pins should not get short. See, if we keep it up, all these uh, pins are getting shorted. So we keep it always like this. And the other thing that we require is the AND gate. That is IC 7408. We require this. Then we require 7404 which is the action inverter gate and the final thing we required is a 3-2 OR gate in order to take these things output now we will be using LED in order to see our output so this is LED this is one LED over here other LED So now LEDs will be connected via resistor so resistor is placed at this anode like this and like this let's take this LED a step down now that this is the cathode we will be grounding it this way same applies for here now every ic has to be connected to a few pins like this is the power pin that is pin number 14 this is the power pin so this shall be connected to plus vcc same for here same for here and this is grounded to me So, until and unless we perform these things that pin number 14 is to be powered up and pin 7 is to be grounded, no IC work. Like, these detail ICs don't work. Now, uh, all the inputs will be connected to 5 volt. When the switch is closed, it will be 0. And when, uh, sorry, when the switch is closed, it will be getting full 5 volts. And when the switch is open, it will be getting 0. Here we are. So this is our first input and um, this input pin. So we will be doing it like this. Bit more neater. So this is the second pin. Now this particular output shall be given to the next input pin where the third input shall be applied now this particular output shall be given to the led so we can do it like this change the color gray for the output pin. for actually what we can do here is we can take this here so that it is possible for us to connect it with ease 
so these are the three pins that we took here and as this fourth is input we are not using it we can remove it now what we have is a bar b so this is a bar so this output shall be going to this input so supposed to have a bar b so as we are getting a bar over here what we can do we will do is from here this is the second input so on the output what we are having is a bar b now what we want is a bar c so again this particular uh sorry output of this gate shall be given to this input of second and gate here and c that is this one see all these are connected in line and we can give it to this next one let's take it a bit like this so this now has a bar c and uh, okay this output is having a bar c and again what we need is bc so for bc what we can do is uh, go from side somewhere from here from here We'll change the color of file later. So these are the three inputs. So this is pin number three A. So give it. This is B, and for C also we shall be doing the same thing. All the outputs are ready. Now the first output shall be given to the input of this particular or gate in order to add things now second output this this pin given to this as second one now again this output will be given as input to this and this output will be given as the second input and this thing will be okay sorry here this thing will be connected to our LED we will be testing whether our circuit has been designed correctly or not for that we will play on start simulation and let's see the switching positions this is 000, 000 001 see difference one borrow one 0 see 011 difference is 0 borrow is 1 111 in the same thing. this can be done for other cases too see 101 100 Zero one zero. So the circuit is working fine. So this is the end of our simulation. Thank you so very much. Please do like, subscribe, and comment. Please do give me your valuable feedback. And thank you so much for being till the end.